you could instantly recognize this as being a large bronchus. You could see a nice arcing segment of cartilage. You could see some more here. You could see bronchial glands. You could see a nice big lumen. Uh, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, Dr. Menarsik, why are you showing us normal histology? This is supposed to be pathology class. So, well, let's look a little bit closer and see if it really is uh, slam dunk normal. You know that the normal epithelial lining of the bronchus, like other areas of the upper uh, and even lower uh, respiratory tract, should be uh ciliated, stratified, I'm sorry, ciliated, pseudostratified columnar mucosa with goblet cells. Well, the first thing you could see is that it looks like it's more than just uh, one layer, and it seems to be quite dark. And uh, you can see it's truly a stratified mucosa. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, squamous metaplasia, why are you wasting our time? Well, let's go a little bit closer again. Yes, I will agree this may be metaplasia, but take a close look. It is not only metaplastic, but it is very, very dysplastic. This is the type of epithelium in the lung, which is the precursor to invasive squamous cell carcinoma. This is squamous cell carcinoma in situ. And just to make a point, whenever you hear the term uh, carcinoma in situ of the lung. They're not talking about ad, no, they're not talking about oat cell. They're talking about squamous because the whole principle behind early squamous cell carcinoma of the lung is that first you get metaplasia due to the usual reasons you get metaplasia. Then you have your carcinoma influence, which eventually caused this metaplastic epithelium to look dark and nasty and obviously malignant but not infiltrating yet. Notice how that basement membrane is very nice. Also notice that in this area, it looks like there's still a lot of columnar epithelium because you can see these occasional goblet cells. Here's normal columnar epithelium. Here's metaplastic epithelium that's either very atypical or perhaps squamous cell carcinoma in situ, and, but in this area is a drop-dead uh, slam-dunk diagnostic for squamous cell carcinoma of the metaplastic bronchial epithelium, and thank you very much.